Now let's discuss a situation called overflow and underflow. So what happens if the value we want to put in a variable or assign to a variable doesn't fit? This is going to give us what we could call a runtime error. The program is going to compile. We may or may not get a warning. This is one of those warnings that you want to pay attention to. And if I'm working with integers and I get to the top value, the largest value possible in the range, and I try to increase it anymore, I'm going to do what's called wrapping around. I'm going to go back to the lowest possible number. So it's kind of like this odometer. And I like this picture from the wiki page on integer overflow because it shows you in a car, this particular car doesn't have an odometer that goes above 100,000 miles. So the odometer is fine as long as the mileage is under 100,000. But as soon as we use up all the digits and they're all set to nines, the next possible mileage is zero. Also, you might notice if you go to sell a car, you have to sign an odometer statement because the buyer is going to want to know, is that really the true odometer reading? And that can be because can because can be because of situations like this. Now that was what happens with integers. With doubles, what we're going to see sometimes is I and F displayed, meaning the value is considered to be infinity. It can't get any larger, and so it just states I and F. So from a vocabulary standpoint, overflow means the number is too big and we're going to flow over the top all the way back down to the bottom. And underflow is the opposite. If I have the smallest possible value and then I try to subtract one, I have no place to go but all the way back up to the very top. Now let's see some examples of over and underflow.